In this hint and tip, we are having a look at grouping and hiding data in an Excel spreadsheet. Both grouping and hiding are ways in which you can alter how your data appears on the screen in front of you. They are both very useful for your spreadsheet, especially if you have large amounts of data. We're going to go through these examples now. The first we're going to look at is grouping. What grouping allows you to do is to group together data on your spreadsheet to produce an outline, so an option to expand or collapse to hide or show that data for you. We're going to do this now on this spreadsheet. We are going to group together the fruit so that these four fruits will be able to be expanded and collapsed so that either you will see just the total fruit numbers or all of the individual ones. And we will do this then for the remaining two categories further down, so breads and also vegetables. To do this grouping option, it is found on the data tab and on the right hand side, you will either be able to see the option of group and ungroup or it might just be that there is an outline button that you need to click on first to then show these options to be able to use them. To use the grouping option, first of all, you select the rows of data that you want to group underneath the uh, main heading. And then we're going to click on the group button here. You can now see that it has created this outline option. So there's a little one and a little two at the top. Clicking on this minus now collapses the data to hide temporarily those individual fruits and just show the total. Click on the plus then expands it to show all of the data for you. I'm now going to do the same for the other two categories further down, so for breads and also vegetables. And now you'll see I've got three lots of outlines. Clicking on the minus each time has now collapsed all the individual um, items here on the left hand side, just showing the totals for fruit, breads and vegetables. Clicking back on each plus will then expand out to show all of those items. So that's looking at the grouping option in Excel. Over to the next sheet, same data, I'm just going to show you the hiding option. This one is a little bit more permanent in the sense that it will hide the data very similar to grouping, but there isn't a outline option where you can plus or minus to bring it back. I'm going to demonstrate on the March column. You right and click on the column heading and then select the hide option down at the bottom. This is now hidden that column and you can see there is no plus here to be able to expand or collapse. So to unhide this, you select the two columns either side of the one that's hidden, right hand click, unhide, and it will bring that back for you. You can of course do the same for a row. So for example, I'll hide all of those bread items, right and click hide, you can see it's now hidden those. Select those two rows, either side of the hidden ones, right and click, unhide, and it brings them all back. So very similar to the grouping option, however, with the hiding one, it doesn't give you that outline option, that plus or minus option that you can click on to expand or collapse your data. So these are two different ways in which you can alter your data, how it's displayed on your screen in front of you, which are very useful, especially if you have large spreadsheets of data.